Hello and welcome to another video. All Things Auto has gone travelling. We are currently in Dawlish in Devon. Lovely day today, luckily. It's been a bit rainy. We've been here for a few days and we've got a few more days to go. But in this video, we're going to briefly show you around, only briefly, and then the challenge is to cycle from Dawlish up to Exeter. To Exeter. It? Yeah, it's all along the national cycle route. Hopefully we find it in... And we're also going to the, to the greatest place on earth. Halfords. Halfords. Yes, we're very excited for that. We might be able to film in Halfords, it depends. We might get kicked out, you don't know. Uh, but we'll try our best. We'll try bugs. our best. There's a lot of bugs in this tent. We this is our a, home. A spiky caterpillar. A spiky caterpillar. It looked know. like a millipede. It was unusual. Anyway, if you haven't already, subscribe to All Things Auto. There's a lot of content, massive back catalogue, and a lot more videos to come as well. So, mm. let's show you our round. Oh, we also would like to apologise for our awful uploading schedule. I know, it, it's, it's gone a bit sloppy since your accident, which is understandable. We've just uh, been struggling for content recently. But slowly it will be getting back to normal. Yeah. Maybe two uploads a week, maybe, I don't know. But obviously school started, it's complicated. Anyway, that's nonsense. Subscribe and let's get on with this, hopefully, oh, fun and tiring video. So here we are then, there's the Heimer camper van. It's just fantastic, really, really luxury for someone like me who used to go camping in old Peugeots and stuff like that. It's really, really nice, that's for Matthew's parents. And then there's the actual gazebo thing. I call it the bunker, it's quite funny. Uh, it's sort of like a separate awning. And then here's our little home, this is our tent. And inside the tent, it's quite cozy. It's nice and warm at night. The storage area, obviously we slept in there before when we went to Whitchurch and did the special, the link might be in the description, don't know, it depends if I remember. This is our sleeping accommodation, the sleeping area. And it's nice, but Matthew's been hogging all of it the past few nights, which is not so good. But yeah, it's really nice. We've taken the bikes. I'm on the Carrera Banshee, running really, really perfectly. And Matthew, you are on your Carrera Hellcat. Yes, and uh, we're gonna do some things to this, which I'll explain probably later in the video. Yes. Or now. Or now. Later in the video. <laughs> Later in the video. Right, we're going to hit the road and we'll update you um, along the way. Exeter, how do you feel about that journey? Good. Good. I've been feeling on it positive. Before. I went on my triumph. No, rally, sorry. <laughs> you used to say a triumph, the aren't you? Yeah. I went on my rally with my mum, dad, and races and I kept up with them. Wow. It's so quick, my rally. It's quicker than you think. But now yeah. I'm on this where it squeaks and rattles and. Well, well, we're sure, we're sure not we'll. Not as much as my vintage. But. There'll be a lot of squeaks in this video, I'm sure. Anyway, let's hit the road. We're on the move. About 10 miles to Exeter, I think, via the National Cycle Route. Should be interesting, nevertheless. Just pulled over because we've just spotted this lovely first generation VW camper van. Obviously, Matt's got one at home. I've got my yellow one. Yeah. Which he misses dearly. Oh, I just want to say about the indicators on mine. They're actually integrated inside the headlight, not separate ones. And then someone commented, I forgot, I'm very sorry, but I understand what you mean. Yes, now. It's very, very nice. nice. Anyway, onwards. Apologies about the wind, but this is where we've ended up. By a lovely harbour. Superb. Nearly fell over there. Nearly fell over. There's a lot of boats here, it's really nice. Obviously, because the tide's out, it looks really eerie, doesn't it? Well, last year when I came here, none of this was be global warming who knows this is what the national cycle route is like the road is down there the railway's there and this is a complete path just for us it reminds me of holland this it's just I fantastic you, you always bang on about holland, but I, I, it's cycling heaven over in holland it's really really nice and this is just amazing we're going to enjoy this no, there's no chance we can get run over by a bmw or something here it's just terrific so we're still following the national cycle route. We've just been over that bridge over there. Very fun. Yes, it was a lot of fun. It was like down. And then I yes. got some air, but it goes along this. And isn't that just so I gorgeous? Sure cycle along there. I don't know, river bike. Well, like, it, like it did at Anglesey last year before this channel was even created. It's just salt water. It's just so oh, on the ground it says no cycling at the top of the bank. But yeah, the tide is out currently and it's just so, so, so nice. It's, I can't, this is just, it's amazing. There's cows on the field. We're on really good bikes. Oh, nice cow, nice Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, and on that note, we're going to carry on. 
I think. And I'm going to try not to run him, run him over after that rude comment from Matthew. Just had a look at this before we set off along that path towards Exeter. Um, and so far in Dawlish, we've done 30 miles ish. I reckon 50, you know, it's going to be around 50. Um, and this is this is sort of the midpoint of our trip away. So it's going to rise. I said it'll probably do 50, but we're going to do more than that. Is it Monday or Tuesday? It's, what day is it today? Monday. It is, Monday. I watch, it is Monday the 26th of October. So yeah, we come back on the Thursday, so midpoint. And when then we arrive last Friday, blah, blah, blah. Let's carry on. So, along the cycle route, there's this little speed bumps either side. I'm going through the middle like a sensible person, avoiding them. But Matthew's making jumps out of them. Keep an eye on this. Up he goes, two wheels in the air. It was all right. Should have seen some of the ones he's been doing before this. He's actually really good at doing these jumps. He did it at the campsite as well on somebody's plot before a caravan arrived. Uh, but yeah. Good bike that, this is just too heavy. The Banshee, way too heavy for this sort of stuff. And the suspension can't cope. There we go, it's a lot of fun this, isn't it? Yeah. I'm going through the middle because I've got a phone in my hand. Yay, this is good. It reminds me of James May on the sand dunes in the RV special. This goes mud guard in off-road mode. I've just saying to the viewers, you've been really good at that. You've been improving. Really? Yeah. And this is a bit of a beast for that. But anyway, let's carry on. Right, the weather's taken a uh, turn for a worse. It's, yeah. it's drizzling just a little bit. Although Hopefully it's short term. Under this bridge. This here, this bridge, is the M5 motorway. Wow. So I think we're going to have a sandwich or something underneath the M5. Something I didn't think I'd be doing this week. Very windy, it's very, very rainy. We apologise for the audio. Yeah, I know. We're having to shout. Yes. But yeah, I think we should have a picnic or something under here. I think we should. Yes. Look at him go. This is all very mysterious. That's the M5. Yeah, it's very noisy. It is, yeah. How but, is that? but. Picnic time. Oh. Jumbo sausage roll. Uh, I don't know what the time is now. G-Shock, the G-Shock's there, it's 12.23, which is lunchtime in our minds. <laughs> this is so weird. Some beautiful graffiti though. I'm trying to, very colourful. As, as beautiful as graffiti you can get. But yeah. Wow. <laughs> I know, it's getting quite wet. Oh well. No, I apologise because again, this is turning into a food channel. This is a spam sandwich. And yes, I brought a tin of spam for Matthew. Um, in the tent as a surprise. He tried some and he absolutely loved it. And I've got a video of him, his first reaction of his first taste of Spam. Take a look at this. Ladies and gentlemen, I've presented Matthew with a tin of Spam. Yes. And he's gonna have his first ever try. This will change his life, undoubtedly. Go. Oh. It's weird because you're pointing at a camera in my face, but. I know, what do you think of that? To wait for his verdict, it's very tense. Look at that, so nice. What do you think? That's so nice. I you like it? it? That's bagging. Oh wow, we're just gonna eat all of this. If that doesn't make you want to go to the supermarket and buy some, I don't know what will. So this is where we are. We're in the Exeter-ish. There's a nice little, what do you call this, river? It is a river, yes. Wait, viewing spot and there's some around there and around there anyway we've got about a mile and a half until Halfords very exciting yes and then we're meeting our, our new cameraman new cameraman that we've recruited somewhere we found him on the streets yeah, of Exeter he's got a cute bike do you know funnily enough that cute bike is the same one I crashed on is it is it oh my word it's come a long way but anyway onwards to, to Halfords ah welcome to Exeter Stinks of diesel, but oh well. Looking for oil for Matthew's bike. There's LEWD40. 
Uh, it might be upstairs with the bike section. What, the GT85? Possibly. We'll have a look. Just look at our mask. This is like heaven. For, oh, this Porsche 356 mask I've got yeah. this day. God, my hair. This is heaven. Beautiful. Beautiful. This, this is, is honestly heaven. just heaven for us. It's better than boots. Check this out. It's a modern E rally. This is a modern rally. Oh, I wish you could have my rally. Look how clean it is. It even has that because my rally is. Nottingham, England. Oh, wait, if it still has. Impressive. Oh, it still has the badge from, from classic rallies such as mine. I love these foldies, they're great. It's electric as well. Mm. It's perfect for London and Exeter. Uh, we're just looking uh, for. I think that helmet would be nice. I think, I think that helmet would suit Lewis or our other cameraman. Yeah, in the Bentley review. Option, I think we're getting oh, suits you. I'm thinking more this one. Um, Ideal, yes. Just look at that. These tools, just heaven. But that should be three hundred and twenty-five quid. My God, it's amazing this shop. Love it. Matt's got a few bits and bobs. So far, I'm empty-handed, which is unusual for me. Hmm. So we've now left Halford. We'll show you what we got later on. But this is where we are. We are along the. The waterfront or something in Exeter. Look at that, that's just gorgeous. Really nice. Anyway, let's soldier on even more. On the way back from Exeter, we had cameraman Jimmy recording some of these flyby shots. So for the next minute or two, get a cup of tea and enjoy some of these. Enjoy Matthew doing a lot of jumps and me being a bit lazy. Train! There's actually a really, really big difference between the two Carreras. Mine, the Banshee, is massively heavy, which means down here it's squirrelling about and it's just not taking off as well as Matthew's Hellcat, which is a lot, lot lighter. cycle back home to Dawlish, back to the tent, was actually really, really smooth, thankfully, uh, thanks to the National Cycle Route. It's just so, so perfect um, for if you need to go in between these two places. They have these bike highway things in Holland and Germany, and it's a lot like these. It's just, it's the future. This was quite funny. I very, very nearly killed Matthew Loverhouse himself because he went down through the inside round that corner before and I didn't know, so I took the inside line and there he was. Come on, Daniel, do a jump. Come on, do a little jump. Hey! About two days after this video was actually recorded, Matthew insisted on coming back to this bridge now so he could do the jumps. So that's what we did. And it was a lot of fun and his Hellcat is just perfect for it. So we hope you enjoyed their montage as that was on the way back, filmed by your dad who yes, joined us on his cube. Jimmy. Cameraman Jimmy, so thank you very much. Um, we are bet what, what, where we were this morning. Uh, there's a train there. But where we were this morning, except there's actual water now, it's not dry like it was this morning, you might remember. But yeah, how long have we been out now? What time is it? What time is it? Three? I don't know. Half three, so we've set off what time? Twelve-ish. Twelve-ish? We've done like 30 miles, haven't we? We've done? I'm going to show 20. you. About 20, 25 miles. That's really not bad, is it? That's really, really good. So yeah, we've, we've had a really relaxing cycle home, haven't we, really? We've been lucky with really? the weather as well. Relaxing. Well, it's been tiring, especially my dad's in that he's on his uh, racer. Yeah. And, uh, I managed to keep up though. This makes me twice. fat. Yeah. Um, you, um, God, so you're on your big mountain. Stop. You're on your ba big mountain yeah. bike with big mountain bike tires. <laughs> that was uh, By order of tiring. Oh uh, yeah, it's a sign over there. But yeah, hope I'm you enjoyed sorry. their montages. They were very good. Um, Matthew, you. I forgot to show the viewers, you bought some stuff from Halfords. I did bring some stuff So from let's look the camera around, let's just demonstrate, or rather show, what he got. I didn't actually get anything. Um, I just, this is the first time ever I came out of Halfords empty handed. But Matthew, what, what did you get? I'd like to demonstrate. Oh, you still filming? Yeah, I'm filming now. No. Nope. 
It's all live on the uh, on the you might say on the show. I used to a podcast. On the YouTube video. What did you get? Viewers might be able to uh, viewers might be able to spot the changes to Matt's Carrera Hellcat. I know I'm gonna I know I'm gonna wear them around uh, here. My legs, but mm. they're uncomfortable, so I don't know. They've gone there. What else did you buy? This wasn't from Halfords, I've got the Sages going. Yeah, it's really well, cool. We... It's really cool. Just make sure it's a Volkswagen. Oh, yeah, he's like to point that out, it's all Volkswagen. And I got my favourite. Yeah. A bell, which a new is like bell. a bottle cap from the vintage. I do like that, actually. It's a bring bring bell, not a ding ding. I can take oh, it off. That's really nice, that is. That's really nice. She writes, that's quite super. It's quite, that's quite super. Now you tried to buy some GT85 oil. Oh, and some WD-40. It turns out good. You could. It's an actual kind of Because if I was on WD-40, I'd be riding around with this. Yeah. I'm surprised actually with their filming in Halfords, we weren't kicked out. Uh, I tried to make it as discreet as possible. Because normally you ask not to film in shops, but we're all right with it. But anyway. Halford, Halfords are the real ones. We're the real ones. Anyway, we're going to enjoy this view. Head back to the oh, tent. Water, we're going to head back to the tent. It's all dry. We're going to head back to the tent for the first oh, time, okay. for the third time. And we're going to do a bit of an outro. We're going to head back to the tent. Do you know who we are? Right. right, it's now nine o'clock the same day. And if I'm honest, we completely we forgot. forgot to yeah. film our outro. So we're going to do it now. Matthew, what did you think about today's 25 mile bike ride to Good. Exeter? We've shown everyone. Yeah, we have. It was, uh, it was fantastic. Did we explain why we didn't get any oil? It's because I'm too young. I'm not allowed to purchase it on my own because it's an aerosol can. I oh, know. Um, Seems a bit silly though. But well, I oh, sort well. of understand. Did you not look for um, oil that wasn't in a spray can? Maybe was that allowed or is that not allowed either? Because we're youths, as they say. Uh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. No. Anyway, um, this is the first of maybe a few videos from Dollar. So I hope you enjoy this one. Uh, the next one, if there is one, will be released probably after this one. So subscribe if you haven't already. Great camera work going on I know this is very, um, very, very bare grills. Sorry for the uh, ticking. That's the oven. Huh? It's the oven. Just show you viewers. There's an That's oven there, ticking away, keeping us warm. We're not in the tent. We're actually in the bunker. We are in a tent, thing. but we're not in the tent. Not in the tent. I know. Mm. Fortunate enough to have multiple tents. But oh, yeah, no, it's propped up against my Volkswagen official license product water bottle. Oh no. Anyway, thank you for watching. We'll see you soon. I'll see you soon.